Hello everyone. This lesson is about solving problems involving polynomial functions. Creating a box out of a piece of cardboard is one of the featured applications of polynomial functions. The idea is, given a piece of cardboard, a square is cut from each corner and folding the sides up to form a box. The problems here would ask either the length and the width of the cardboard or the volume of the box. For example, a box is created from a sheet of 10 inch by 8 inch cardboard by cutting a square from each corner and folding up the sides. Let X represent the length of the sides of the squares removed from its corner. Write a polynomial function for the volume of the box in terms of X. So this is our cardboard. The length is 10 inches. The width is 8 inches. A square is cut from its corner with side X and folding up the sides to form a box. Question, what will be the length of our box? The answer is 10 minus 2X. Why? Because the length of the cardboard is 10 inches and we have here okay, a square cut with side X and also a square is cut here on this corner with side X. So we have X here and X here. So that's 2X. So we subtract that. So 10 minus 2X is the length of our box. How about the width? So we do the same thing. Okay. It becomes 8 minus 2X. The 8 is the length of this side here and we cut a square here with length x and also a square here with length x so x here and x here that's 2x so 8 minus 2x now we form a box our length is 10 minus 2x our width is 8 minus 2x and our height or thickness is x now to find the volume of this box Okay, we use this formula, the volume equals length times width times height or the thickness. So we have here, the length is 10 minus 2x, the width is 8 minus 2x, the height is x. Now, first we are going to multiply these two binomials here. So 10 times 8 is 80, 10 times negative 2x is negative 20x negative 2x times 8 is negative 16x and then negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4x squared now we can combine this second and third terms here so it becomes 80 minus 36x plus 4x squared now this trinomial will be multiplied by x and then we have to arrange our answer in descending order of the degrees. So we have P of X equals 4X cubed minus 36X squared plus 80X. This is our answer. We need to say this is the polynomial function that describes the volume of the box in terms of X. Now let's do another problem. The length of a rectangular piece of cardboard is 20 inches longer than its width. If 4 inch squares are cut from each corner and the remaining piece folded up to form a box, the volume of the box is 176 cubic inches. Find the dimensions of the piece of cardboard. So this is our cardboard. So we will let X be our width and our length is X plus 20 because it says here the length of a rectangular piece of cardboard is 20 inches longer than its width. Now, 
a square from its corner are being cut with side 4 inches and then folding up the sides to form a box. Question, what will be the length of our box? So the answer is x plus 20 minus 8. Why? Because this whole thing here, the length of our cardboard is x plus 20 and we cut a square here with side 4 inches and also a square here on this side with 4 inches. So 4 plus 4 is 8. So we have to subtract that. So it's minus 8. How about our width? So we also have to subtract 8 from our width. So that's going to be x minus 8. Because this whole thing here is x and then we cut a square here with side 4 inches and also a square here with side 4 inches. So that's 4 here and 4 here that's 8. So subtract 8. So now we have a box. Okay? And our length is x plus 20 minus 8. Our width is x minus 8. Our height or thickness is 4. Now, to find the volume of this box, we use the formula length times width times height. But the volume has already been given, so 176. So this means our equation is 176 equals the length, which is x plus 12, times the width, which is x minus 8, times the height, which is 4. So why x plus 12? We just simplified this expression here, x plus 20 minus 8, that's x plus 12. Now, first we are going to multiply these two binomials here, okay, the quantity x plus 12 times the quantity x minus 8. So we are going to use FOIL method, x times x is x squared, x times negative 8, it's negative 8x, then 12 times x is 12x, then 12 times negative 8, it's negative 96. Now, we can combine this negative 8x and positive 12x. That becomes x squared plus 4x minus 96. And then we can multiply all the terms here, okay, by 4. So we have 176 equals 4x squared plus 16x minus 384. Now we have a quadratic equation. So we will, we will make one side of the equation equal to 0 by subtracting 176 from both sides. So it becomes 0 equals 4x squared plus 16x minus 560. And we can solve this quadratic equation by first reducing okay, our terms because all the terms are divisible by 4. So we have to divide all terms. Now after dividing all terms by 4, we get this equation. 0 equals x squared plus 4x minus 140. Now this quadratic equation can be solved by factoring since this quadratic trinomial here is factorable. And the factors of x squared plus 4x minus 140 are the quantity x plus 14 times the quantity x minus 10. Now, equating both factors to 0, we have x plus 14 equals 0 and x minus 10 equals 0. Now, for our first equation, okay, we subtract 14 from both sides. So, we have x equals negative 14. And for our second equation, adding 10 on both sides, we have x equals 10. So, since we don't have negative length, so that means our length is 10. So that means from our original cardboard, the width is x and the length is x plus 20. So since x is equal to 10, so our width is 10. And our length is x plus 20, so that's 10 plus 20, so that's 30. Now your turn. I prepared here two problems. After reading the two problems, you can uh, pause the video 
and take your time working on them. So problem number one. A box is created from a sheet of 14 inch by 10 inch cardboard by cutting a square from each corner and folding up the sides. Let X represent the length of the sides of the squares removed from each corner. Write a polynomial function for the volume of the box in terms of X. Problem number two. The width of a rectangular piece of cardboard is 16 inches less than its length. If three inch squares are cut from its corner and the remaining piece folded up to form a box, the volume of the box is 1,008 cubic inches. Find the dimensions of the piece of cardboard. Now, you can pause the video. And if you are ready, I can now show you the answer. For item number one, the answer is P of X equals 4X cubed minus 48X squared plus 140X. So the details of our solution are here. And for problem number two, okay, the dimensions of the cardboard are 18 inches for our width and 34 inches for our length. So the details of the solution are here. Did you get the two items right? I hope you did. Thanks for watching guys. This is Teacher Reggio. Keep safe.